18 minutes past eight. Well, the trade union SIPTU now has the internal report into the controversial National Health and Local Authority levy fund. Millions of euro went into the account, around four and a half million over ten years. Its operation was investigated after claims of foreign travel and junkets were made. It's a long report, but in short it finds the levy fund was operated without the knowledge of the union leadership, that basic records weren't maintained, that most of those who went on foreign trips paid for by the fund had nothing to do with the union, although many were senior civil servants, that the money left in the account should be paid back and union procedures tightened up. SIP2 President Jack O'Connor, good morning to you. Uh, good morning, Anya. Um, just looking through this report, are you satisfied with the level of cooperation that you got from Matt Merrigan and Jack Kelly, the two union officers uh, who opened this account? Well, the subcommittee who conducted the, uh, the investigation didn't criticise the level of cooperation um, they are cognizant of the fact that the people concerned uh, ha- ha- have their own rights and, and they have uh, to ensure that they don't prejudice their rights. Uh, so uh, it, 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 they didn't uh, uh, suggest that the, the, there was a lack of cooperation and um, there is also the point that the accounts uh, uh, which were ma- maintained were, were not maintained to uh, a normal accounting standard. Uh, yes, Matt Merrigan claims uh, 5,000 employees were trained, but there isn't um, very good documentation to back all of that up. Um, and he also claims that there's only 45,000 uh, due back to the HSC. Uh, this is also an account that the HSC were dealing with him directly on and the rest of the union appears uh, not to have known about. Uh, do you not find all of that quite bizarre? Yes, but just in relation to the the... the the number of people who were trained, uh, the investigation did establish that the lion's share of the money uh, was spent on training and upskilling in a manner which was consistent with the overall trust of uh, the approach which was being adopted in the relevant public authorities. Uh, 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 And to that degree, uh, we're satisfied that um, uh, the the lion's share of the money was used uh, for a purpose which was consistent with uh, with the training programs and the upskilling programs uh, in in the public service itself, as far as the uh, the operation of the account is concerned, uh, um, we didn't uh, have uh, a rule in our rule book which precluded uh, the the opening of an account, and we didn't have such a rule because, uh, being a trade union, we're not accustomed to people throwing money at us. We never uh, had, uh, uh, as far as I can establish, uh, a previous experience. Of, uh, of money being um, uh, put to us or sent to us or given to us uh, in this way before. And we, we, as of last uh, Friday, the Executive Council will be promoting a rule mm-hmm. change at the next conference in October uh, to preclude uh, the possibility of anything like this uh, ever happening again. But is that not the kind of excuse that bankers have, have, have used in the past? You know, the rules weren't there and we didn't break any rules. Is it OK that a senior union official would basically be getting public monies uh, into an account that, that appears to have been run well, without much reference to anybody else, out of which, you know, a half a million is spent on foreign travel. Uh, and the report itself says most of those people paid, who had their trips paid for, they had nothing to do with the union. Uh, yes, and, and that's why the uh, the Executive Council has decided to under, undertake uh, an investigation uh, and uh, and will be employing the services of a senior counsel to undertake that investigation uh, so as to establish what issues remain to be addressed uh, in relation to the, the, the people who m- m- operated and maintained this account. So uh, uh, until such time as that investigation is complete, and it should be complete uh, pretty quickly, uh, I think, uh, I, I'm restricted in what I can say, you'll understand. Uh, does Matt Merrigan have a future with SIP2? Well, the, as I say, the, 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 the question of his employment relationship with the union is to be the subject of uh, investigation by a senior counsel. The reason why... Uh, Would you deci- like him to consider his position? Well, the reason why we decided uh, to, to uh, employ the services of a senior counsel was uh, in order that that uh, due process and fair procedure would be uh, observed because there might be some suggestion that given the degree of opprobium which has accrued uh, to myself and to others, that uh, that we might uh, n- 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 not not be as, as as fair in our view as we as we should be. How damaging has this been? As you say, there's been an awful lot of cris- criticism of union fat cats and slush funds and so on. How damaging has it been? 
Well, uh, it's been damaging, there's no doubt about that, but uh, there was a suggestion in the public domain for a very long time that uh, uh, trade union officials associated with the union were travelling around the world uh, uh, on this money, and what we now know is that uh, 13.9% of the, of the money uh, was uh, spent on travel outside of the country, and uh, only two employees of the union, other than Mr. Merrigan, uh, participated, and uh, one of them is an industrial person, and the other works in a specialist area. Uh, w- one of the trips involved one overnight to London, uh, and uh, there is a, a detailed explanation. Uh, It's not in the report, but uh, independently of that exercise, we established that there's a detailed uh, explanation for what the person was involved in. So are you saying it's kind of okay, Jack O'Connor, that really it's not that bad, kind of? No, you're saying that. Uh, Well, I'm I'm asking. uh, No, I'm I'm saying uh, that uh, uh, it's a very serious matter. Uh, That's why we established uh, 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 this investigation. And that's why, as a result of this report, we are now employing the services of a senior council to conduct an an investigation into uh, our relationship with the people who maintain this account. SIP2 President Jack O'Connor, thank you very much indeed for talking to us this morning. It's almost 25 past eight.